Hey guys, Chris Super Fast RC, and today we're looking at one of the smallest, most powerful chargers I've ever seen. Guys, this thing is tiny. This is the ISDT P10 Smart Charger. So this is a DC only charger. Obviously with its size, it doesn't have room for a power supply of any kind. So it's gonna be DC only, which is fine. That's what I wanted. I didn't need an expensive AC charger. I just wanna give you some scale, guys. That's a shorty pack, and this is the packaging of the box. So, like, you stack two shorty packs together, you've got the ISTT P10. It's tiny. Like, shorty pack. Let's get the box opened up. Let's look at the box. So it's the P10 Smart Charger ISTT P10. There's not much on the box other than that. So let's get it open. First thing, we've got a screen protector. Let's see if I can get that on there without making a total hack job of it like I did last time. we got our instruction manual, Chinese, English on this side. Tell you our capacities there. So this will do a balance charge. No discharging on this one. It does not have any resistors built in. So there's our power input, USB-C, upgrading for I don't know if that'll output uh, voltage or not to uh, like a charge a cell phone or something it might I know the K2 will it has a USB-C port on the bottom and you can use that for charging and upgrades this one's also for upgrades let's go ahead and get this out of the box that's it only comes with the screen protector and the charger so there's the charger once again a shorty pack for size this thing is absolutely tiny guys like it's shorter than a shorty pack. That's all you gotta say, right? Anyways, here's the the, DT, the P10. We've got a XT60 in there for our power cable input, XT60 outs, and then our balance ports. Let's go ahead and hook these up. I have the XT60 right here to DC, so DC in. Go ahead and hook this into our power supply. This will do, I believe it's 12 volt through or 11 volt. Here it does, it tells you. DC 10 through 30 volts, so obviously higher voltage the better. Uh, max input current is 20 amps, so most of your 12 volt power supplies will handle 20 amps. And then there's our 10 amps uh, by two channels and then 250 by two. So there you go. Let's get this powered up. So standard ISTT layout. So P10, we've got, just like on the K2, we've got our chemistry, LiPo. You have LIFE, LIHV, um, NIMH, Ultra, LIHV. I don't know what that means. Uh, LIFE, PB, which is LED, LiPo, and LIHV. We usually charge LIHV. We've got our charge current. This will go up to 10 amps. The K2 does 20. So for my applications, I charge at six and a half. So there we go. This is kind of an up and down kind of scroll, scrolling button thing here. Not a whole lot to this. Um, this is only a charger, so there is no other options like we have in the K2. As far as discharge, destroy, it doesn't have that. This is purely a charger. So let's go ahead and go put our leads in. So these are our XT60, our balance port lead, and let's plug in our battery. I don't know what these readies are charged at. Let's see what they've got in them. So it's detecting our voltages. These are storage charge, which is fine. Go ahead and press enter. Got six and a half amps. Charge. Start. So there goes that. I'm not sure how loud the little fan is in it. We've got a little fan. Nothing yet though. Okay, let's work on our second channel. Let's get that going. Here we go. We're back at our main screen. We've got our total output. We got 50 watts per channel. Um, 
this thing's not even breaking a sweat. Here goes the fan. It's not very loud at all. It's really quiet. Um, nothing compared to the K2, which has got dual fans. The K2 is probably the best charger on the market for the money, in my opinion. Uh, giving you that total like 600 watt, I believe, DC power supply. I, I think it's crazy what it'll do. I think it's like 400 per channel on the K2 on DC. It's too much for my power supply to handle on DC. And it like these leads I have here, when I tried to uh, use them, <laughs> they got like really hot and I had to stop using them because I was afraid they were going to kill my power supply. So what am I doing here with this little charger? This is a backup or a charger I can use while I'm using my K2 to charge my battery. So if I'm running two classes like Truggy and Buggy, I can charge two sets of shorties at the same time and never have to worry about not having a full battery. Or if I'm running you know, one class and I just need one battery charge, I can use this charger to do it and not have to worry about waiting on my K2 to finish up. So anyways guys, but my little look at the ISTT P10 smart charger. It's a little guy. Um, runs about 65 bucks and uh, has a, well, not a lot of features, but if you're just doing charging and need something small to throw in the pit bag or pit box to have you as a spare and you're okay with DC, um, yeah, there's our DC input 12.1 volts and we're pulling 107 watts. Guys, this thing will do a great job for you. You can adjust your current on the fly if you want. We're not going to do anything there, but that's pretty much it. There is like a, a menu. If you press these two together, we can do like system settings. So a dual task, you can do a dual task or a parallel task. A DC power, Let's see what that is. I don't know what that does. I'm scared of that. I've got batteries plugged in. Let's go back. You hit these two at the same time. System settings, hit OK. Backlight. Oh, so here we go. Max input power is 550 watts. That's not even going to get close to that. Um, volume is high. Completion tone is repeat. Split screen language. Theme. Ah, so I did notice you can change this to a dark theme. I like that. So here's the dark theme. I'm not sure if I can do that on my K2. Um, keep trickle charge. I guess that's for calibration system info. P10, there's a software versions. So I like the dark mode. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I think that's dope. You know, I don't know if that's a feature of my K2 or not. I'll have to look. Let me look real quick, guys. I'm kind of interesting now. Interested in it. <laughs> Theme to change on this one. You can see this one's been scratched to heck. Like I said though, this thing's a workhorse. And Theme, bright, dark, hot, diggity dog, looky there. So I've got dark theme as well on this one. Back. I think I'm going to leave this one on bright, actually, because the screen's so scratched up that, you know, I really can't see it on dark mode. It's not anything bad, it's just easier for me to see with the dark scratch up screen but that's the k2 guys this is a beast of a charger highly recommend it if you're looking for something with ac power input and a monster output on dc you can't go wrong with the k2 but if you're looking for something tiny and something cheap easy doesn't get hot runs dc and it would be a nice spare for you to have guys check out the istt paint ISDT P10 smart charger. It does the back go, whatever that is. I don't really care for that. Don't really need it. But um, be aware, no discharging. It does balance charge only. That's it. Um, and yeah, looks to be working well here. Once again, super tiny, guys. That's a shorty right there for size comparison. But hey, guys, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.